everyone welcome to k-pop queen for your non-daily access to all things k-pop i had to talk about this immediately i had to finish the movie immediately put on my camera and talk to y'all guys i'm gonna be talking about love and leashes the latest rom-com from netflix from south korea starring soyeon of girls generation in june of you kiss let me tell you something I have so many thoughts. I literally just finished the movie. I have to talk about it. Let's just let's just get into it. I know it literally dropped today, but if some of y'all are like, you know, you're like, oh, I see my faves in something, I'm gonna watch it immediately, then you're ready to watch this. If you need your time, fine, come back to me. But listen, I just have to talk about it. I, I need to talk to you guys. Can we chat? Can we have a little chat? Okay. First of all, some housekeeping rules. I'm going to spoil the shadow of this, absolutely. Also, did I refill my cup just to talk about this? A thousand percent. Did I put my wig on to talk about this? A thousand percent. I almost did this in my bonnet, but we haven't reached that level of comfort. We're not that close one day, but not today, okay? Now that that's out of the way, let's get to chatting. I'm reading this off of the Wikipedia page, okay? It's a 2022 South Korean rom-com film based on the webtoon Moral Sense by Gyul. Oh, I did not know it was a webtoon. So that's news to me. I was trying to figure out where they came up with this story. I thought, honestly, the writer was like, let's do something fun for the girlies on Valentine's Day. That's really where my mind was like. I was like, this person wants to have fun. They're trying to do something cool for the girls. Like, I did not know that this was based off a of webtoon. Anyway webtoon moral sense the film directed by park hyun jin and starring lee jun young june obviously from uk uk's Sarah from girls generation and so hyun woo depicts a romance between ji hoo this is important their names are very similar ji hoo who has everything perfect but has a unique sexual taste and ji woo a competent public relations team member who finds out about his secret it was released on netflix on february 11th 2022 to coincide with valentine's day Listen, when the teaser first dropped for this, I think we all lost our minds collectively. Can I say that with confidence? We were all kind of like, so yeah, June, what's going on? And listen, these are two idol actors. You know, they sort of like, you know, we're starting out in their idol groups, doing a lot of singing, a lot of dancing. Now they're like full-time actors, if you will. Now, could they go back and sing? Absolutely, no questions asked. Soyeon could drop a single tomorrow. June could drop a single tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? Like, it could very much so happen. But I think they're very focused on, you know, acting. And they're really good at it, too. And they did a great job in this movie on this sort of touchy subject. <laughs> As you predicted, Love and Leashes. We're talking about BDSM. Um, some heavy stuff. I don't really know a lot about this yet. Come on, like, yeah, like, that's news. Like, you're really surprised that I don't know anything about that. But I was watching this kind of like, oh, shit, let me take some notes. <laughs> because it was very informative it was funny it was fun it was like you know a rom-com like they you know they had their issues they had their things their little funny moments it was it was a cutie little movie now i will say this i'm always gonna keep it a thousand percent with you guys you know this i will say this though there's a lot like if you're not into cringy stuff do not watch this there were so many moments where i had to pause and scream literally just to scream i was shook beyond Anything I could have ever believed because of what they decided to keep in this movie. Another thing, the things they decided to keep in this movie, it's very cut and paste. <sighs> Can I be honest? You could tell that they filmed a lot and then do -do 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 -do, boop, do -do 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 -do, boop. Like it's very, it's very much like that. But you know what? I don't care. I love this. I love this so much. Like, this is right up my alley. Like, this is what I want to watch. Yeah, I want to watch something grown. For the grown girls, that's fun. That's a little cringy. Okay, whatever. I don't care. I want to watch it. Like, this was exactly what I wanted. Starring two people I'm very familiar with, okay? I know their work, and I get to see them do this sort of tough subject. I have so many notes. I literally just wrote my notes as I was watching it. So if they don't make a lot of sense, I'm sorry. It will make sense if you have watched this, but if you didn't, I don't know what to tell you. Let me give you all a little glimpse. Can you see that beyond the glare? This is a lot of writing. This is a lot of writing. Incoherent spelling errors. Guys, I couldn't remember how to spell coincidentally. I spelled it with a W. <sighs> 
it's starring so so young from girls generation um she plays jung ji woo okay and then june who goes by lee june young he plays jung ji who names are very similar that was sort of a plot point um in the movie you know those names are so similar you guys even have the same surnames that's so interesting you know like what is that about they're pretty much trying to like not force but like make this connection between the two of them you know so you're kind of like oh, okay this is interesting similar names same surnames some sort of attraction where they keep like looking at each other what's going on what is this right Jung Ji Woo played by Soyeon she is like she is like a very no-nonsense type of girly I love that. A lot of people at her workplace were like, oh, she's such a cold person. She's aloof. Like, I don't know if you're really trying to get to know her. Like, she's not really that great. She's kind of a stickler for the rules. But I'm like, okay, what's the problem? Um, She calls you out on your shit, rightfully so. She says what needs to be said. She says what everyone's thinking and what you're afraid to say. So what's really the problem? Lee Jun Young, obviously June, he plays Jung Ji okay he's joined the team that um ji woo is on he just got transferred you know he's new he brings her into this like bdsm world he is like a little cutie like, um, truly a really cutie energetic guy um he actually says though and this is sort of interesting to hear him say this about himself having such like such a really honest and open view of yourself he literally says he was like i try to be perfect in front of everyone i do not want people to know about um my like unique taste that's sort of how he describes it my like unique taste i don't want anyone to like hate me for this i don't want people to call me a pervert so i do everything in my power to cover this up I do everything in my power to be liked and me i'm so young i'm looking at him like <laughs> like oh my god what a revelation about yourself what honesty and and clear you know sort of clarity about why you do the things that you do you know it was so it was it was it was sad to hear him say that to say these things about himself because i was like oh like who who made you feel bad about yourself like who made you think these things about yourself and obviously it was his ex-girlfriend played by kim bora did quite the number on him but Anyway, it was just, it was so interesting to hear him say those things, but then just be like, this is kind of what I'm into. Like, <laughs> are you down, you know? And he, he wasn't a force for character at all. No, 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 nothing like that. He just was like, he was like, listen, I, if you, if you want to be into this, be into this with me. If not, that's okay. <laughs> Other characters in this are Lee L. She plays Hemi. She's um, Jung Ji Woo's best friend. She owns like this little cafe, cafe restaurant, dog cafe restaurant, right? Um, you guys have seen Lee L everywhere. She is a phenomenal actress. Phenomenal. If I see her in the cast, I'm like, oh, I'm about to get quality. Yeah, I know that this is going to be very, very good. I really love her work. Um, also, So Hyun Woo is in it. Kim Bora. She plays um, Hana, who is Jung Ji Hoo's ex-girlfriend. And she complicates the shit out of this. Oh, my God. She really did a number on that boy. Okay, she she ate she ate a thousand percent she did so great in this role um we also have Bak Hyun Ju and An Sung Hyun like we, we we have some pretty good characters in this guys so many moments in this all I all all I did was talk about moments in this movie uh, which one do I even begin with honestly this whole movie they set this boy up can I be honest they set um Jung Ji Hoo up this whole time i was watching this like damn is his life really this hard like why is it like this for him like he was struggling okay fighting for his life in the streets <laughs> okay there's this moment where um <laughs> you guys have seen it in the uh the like the trailer yeah the trailer for it you've seen this moment where he's at work and he's trying to pick up this package and he says oh my gosh this i got a delivery notice like my package should be here like where is it um i you know it should be for this person at, at this team and the security guard who's in or the male person who's in charge of it was like oh you know what it actually got sent to somebody else on that team who has a very similar name Zhong ji who loses his shit trying to run upstairs to get this package before Jung Ji Woo, you know, opens it and sees what it is. You guys saw it in the trailer, as I said. It's literally the moment of um the 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 little caller where he has, I guess, his little pet name. <laughs> his little pet name on it. I don't really girl, I listen, I don't know. I really don't know what Miho means. All I do know is that um 
he was trying desperately to make sure nobody saw that. Okay, and I get why too. But then my question is, why did you send it to work? You can prime it straight to your apartment. We did not have to do all of this. Like, a lot of these things, I was like, you kind of struggling on your own, sir. I'm sorry. I cannot understand why you're doing these things. But he wanted to struggle. He wanted his strife. Okay, fine. He sent his little caller to the office. How you explain that beyond me. But you know what? We have plot points. We have to move the story along. We got to get Jung Ji Woo into this, right? So Jung Ji Woo, she has the package. She opens it up thinking it's for her. She sees the caller. She says, huh? Huh? I did not order this, nor did I have it engraved. <laughs> you know, Jung Ji Woo tries to explain it like, oh, it's for my poodle. It's for my dog. I, I call I call them uh, Miho. <laughs> and uh Jung Ji Woo is like, oh, okay. Like she literally <laughs> she's like she's not interested. She's just kind of like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> you know? And um obviously there's this whole thing. She finds out that it's like a, a caller for a person, you know, for his little funny games. And um he is so embarrassed about this whole situation. He's like, I I don't know. Right? And she's like, oh, you know, whatever. She's so cool about it. She can separate her work life from her personal life. She's like, I do not care what you're into. That's your business. Um, did you get the, the spreadsheet done? <laughs> did you fill out the spreadsheet? Did you send it to everyone? Like, is it done? Like, that's really what she's like, which is why I also really like her. Like, she's very much like, listen, this is what you're into. Kim make me freak. I love that for you. I'm gonna get back to work though. So, 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 she, so she's just kind of cool about it, and he's like enamored by that coolness. He's like, honest to God, step on me. Literally, you think I'm playing? Oh, you think I'm playing? No, that's what he says. He's like, step on me, beat the fuck out of. Well, he doesn't say that, but he does say, you know, injure me. And so their whole relationship sort of ensues. She does all this research trying to figure out what like BDSM is, how to be a dom because he's a sub, you know, all these sort of things. Let me tell you something. When she found out that he was a sub and not a dom, she was like, <laughs> she was confused because whole time girly is like, oh, he's into like college and stuff. Would he put that on me? Ah, ah, like. Oh my God, would he do that to me? <laughs> no, baby, he wouldn't. He would not, actually. <laughs> you have to put that collar on him. So when she figured that out, she was kind of gagged a little bit. She was like, oh my goodness, like what? what, what, what. But then she, um, uh, like almost immediately, she was like, okay, okay, sure. Like, okay, I'm into it. The way that she does her research and then it's kind of like, listen, I kind of want to do this. Like, do you, like, would you be down? And he's like, yeah, I would be. I would be down. <laughs> incredible. Another really incredible thing about this movie is that a lot of the times their little play moments are at work. I, I listen, that was my big thing. Well, the, I had two big things about this. I was like the miscommunication, which obviously you have to have in a rom-com. I get it. I know, but whatever. I'm gonna talk about that later. My second thing was that why are y'all in the office? You can't go home? You're that far away from home? Surely not. Surely we'll never get to this. Because you both finna get fired. Then what about your bag? Then what are you gonna do? How are you gonna keep buying your collars? How are you gonna keep buying your whips? If you get fired? I Listen, the whole time, I was like, why are you at work? At work? At the office? On the desk? You're breaking things? What if I want police? Just get in the car and go home. Go and rent a space. I'm sure you could do that. Go to the hotel. Like, it, like literally anything. A hotel, motel, whatever. Not this, right? So when they go to the hotel, listen. When they go to the hotel and he starts acting like the dog. No, I, no. I close my eyes. Oh, oh yeah. I close my eyes. I couldn't do it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm the weakest soldier. I'm very weak. Oh, a thousand percent. I could not watch June be this dog. He was too convincing. <laughs> he was too convincing. Whole time I was like, no, let me not watch this. But I could hear him. And then I'd look up a little bit like, 
know what's going on. And so I'm like kind of like peeking at him like, oh my God, you're really a dog right now. <laughs> Why? And I just couldn't handle it. It was a lot. Did you, you guys, did you guys watch that scene with your eyes opened? If you did, you're a strong person. You're the bravest person I know. So another thing that I was really annoyed about, like I said earlier, you know, not just them being in the office doing all their little playtimes, but also the miscommunication. I know you need it for a rom-com. I know you need to have your like uphill battle, the precipice, whatever. Then you drop and then you sort of, you know, whatever for your whole story. I understand. I know how stories and plots work. But the plot point being miscommunication is going to piss me off every single time. I'll keep it 2000. It is. Now, I know you're thinking, you're like, but don't you love K-dramas? Haven't you been watching since like 2009? You know how it is. What are you doing? I know. But does that stop it from pissing me off? No. Does it stop me from watching? No. Okay. Whole time that they're trying to figure out this relationship, figure things out, you know, be more than just like, you know, playmates, if you will, seeing if they could take their relationship to another level. He couldn't open up about the sort of trauma that he had with his ex-girlfriend, who was uh, not great, terrible, actually, horrific, said some really awful things to him that made him feel really ashamed about himself. So now he's like, okay, well, I can't go through this again. I'm not going to open up with um, Jiwoo. I'm not going to let her know. Like, I'm going to speak in hyperbole and riddles <laughs> so she can't understand what I'm saying. So that when she asks, like, hey, can we take this to another level? I, I just have to say no. I'm not going to explain myself. I was like, okay. Okay. Great. So, you know, when do we resolve this? When do we get over this point, you know? Because it's clear throughout the whole movie that they want each other. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You're watching this thinking, oh, they're going to fuck. No. <laughs> no, they're not. One thing that they said in this was that, oh, this is just like, you know, you're just like having fun, but you're not really actually taking the relationship to another level, to a sexual level. This is just like, you know, like for funsies, <laughs> for funsies, like it's not a sexual relationship and you're not dating each other, which fascinating, did not know. Okay. Yeah. I'm learning something new. I can admit that. That's fine. So, um. So, yeah, they do not fuck the entire time of this. There's a lot of sexual tension. They don't fuck. Which, I guess, I don't know. I kind of went into his thinking, like, oh, this is kind of going to be, like, Fifty Shades-ish. Not exactly, but somewhere along those lines. And it is so different from that um, fan fiction that, it, like, I was, I was kind of shocked, you know? It's so, 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 so different. Um, and I think maybe in the best way possible so they have their miscommunication where we're towards the end of the movie somehow somewhere even though i knew in my head that this is gonna happen which is why i was like why in the office there are cameras someone's gonna catch you some somehow there's recordings of them talking their shit to each other talking you know saying all these things she in the recording she's literally like take off your belt take this off this is much thicker than I thought it would be. Which, if you're listening to it, you're like, hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. I, I, no, 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 no. Hold on. You're getting fired today. Like, if you heard that, you would be like, yeah, you're getting fired today. But it was, but that's not what it, that's not really what's going on, right? So obviously, people are getting these recordings. It's been sent to the whole company due to the incompetence of an intern. And so now Ji Woo and Ji Hoon have a disciplinary meeting about what they've been doing in the office, you know, on company time and company space, that sort of thing. Whole time this is happening, I'm screaming for my life. You think I'm like, I don't know, fucking dying or something while I'm watching this. I'm screaming. I'm like, this is the end. That's the end of their bag. No money. How can you recover from this? Like, who's going to hire you? Like, you're getting fired, right? They go through the meeting, 
where they have their moment of proper communication. They, you know, talk about their feelings in front of all these people, which is so crazy to me. I was like, what, this now? Okay, whatever, fine, whatever, fine. They have their moments. Obviously, they reconcile. Everything's fine, blah, 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 right? And that's sort of how the movie ends, with them going through this, like, crazy, well, no, it's like, it's not, it's not crazy, but it's a new, new relationship for them. They, they don't really know each other. They're trying to figure it out. This new relationship, all these up and downs, to have a broadcasted in front of everyone where they then you know you know talk about their love for each other despite the odds and the differences and come together as they are suspended from work yeah are you fucking kidding me i know you didn't get fired but you're getting suspended <laughs> no questions asked very like wrapped up ending if you will clean cut you know they they've figured everything out now that they've talked now that they've sort of hit rock bottom it's only up from here sort of situation so everything sort of works out for them listen i didn't even tell you everything that's in it i gave you a general gist i did but i didn't tell you everything and that's on purpose i really want you guys to go and watch this movie guys i had to talk about this with you because i was like how am i gonna hold this in i need to say this to my people and i need to hear what my people say guys what did you think about this have you seen it yet i know it was released just today but please talk to me i'm begging you i don't have anyone to talk about this with that's why i said <laughs> this is funny i actually started this channel because i had no one to talk to k-pop about and now i can talk to you so please talk to me about this movie did you watch it what did you think what were your pros and cons everything honestly i i really liked it but i love a cringy rom-com i do i really love that were there things that i would change maybe i don't know i don't care I had a great time watching it. I had so much fun watching this movie that I really don't care, you know? Okay, so comment below. Tell me what you thought. And I'll be back with another video. Bye, guys.